What's up guys, welcome back to Rugged Adventures. I'm glad you're here because we have a fun one today for two of the most highly debated things besides like 308 versus 65 or 556 versus 308. We have steel body armor, AR500 body armor. This one's from Predator, it is a level three plus. I got two of these for $99 off of Facebook. This, they often run these and I see a lot of these for these steel uh, level three plus on Facebook for like 99 bucks. So I have two of those. And we're going to compare that against ceramic body armor. This one is from Chase Tactical. It is a level four plate if it focuses on there. And these are supposed to be, you know, a lot of folks think that they are better than the steel plates. They say that they absorb a hit better. They have less spalling as far as stuff flying up and down to hit you. And that could be the case. And I'll tell you what, this one from Chase Tactical, this was $99. So it's about twice the cost of these ones. It is a very nice plate, the way that it's shaped and, and, and cut, and I paid for all these, they didn't give them to me, but when I put this against my body, man, it just fits really well, if you guys can see that. Whereas this one, it does have uh, the curvature this way, and so it, it fits decent, but it, it definitely would be an issue like this. Whereas this one is curved in pretty much all directions and just really fits to the body really nice. And so we're gonna find out today which of these things is true. Is this, going to create less spall, but will it perhaps not hold up to as many rounds as this steel one does? And I tell you that because we do have the other one that we have shot many, many times. And this is why I didn't go out and buy a level four steel plate because this thing has been a beast. We have hit this with nearly every pistol round, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, 45, uh, pretty much anything. 5.56, 55 grain out of a 16 and 20 inch barrel. 5.56 five, uh, M855 with the 62 grain green tips out of a, a 16 and a 20 inch barrel. And even 308 out of a 20 inch barrel from the 25 yard range that we have here. So this one here is proof of that it, these things can take a lot of hits, but we're gonna put even more hits on it today with this uh, Palmetto State Jackal. Uh, this is a three, the new 308 version with the Silencer Co. Uh, Hybrid 46 and an EOTech setup here. We're gonna be using 147 grain full metal jacket, nothing special type of rounds. And let's go down and look at what our targets are. So these Burning Man-like objects here that I created are, are our targets for the day. And what I wanted to do was try to simulate what a human body would be versus, but not having the budget of going out and getting a ballistic dummy labs because this is like $2,700, even with the creator discount. So that's uh, it's a little steep and not in the budget right now. But we have uh, these two liters here. This is, we're gonna call this one the Mountain Man. We got two behind here to represent the chest. This is duct taped to it. This is obviously the head. And you know, for some folks that may be more or less important than others. Arms here, the upper arms, you got your brachial arteries in there, your abdomen, genitalia, and uh, you like your femoral and, and uh, iliac arteries coming out here. Those are all going to be real bad things to get hit if there is a lot of spalling from these things. And, you know, obviously uh, your lower part of your arms and legs are going to be also not great. You're not going to be like, yes, I got shot in my forearm, but they're not going to be as critical as these parts. So we're going to shoot these one at a time and see what uh, the, the different spalling does to it. See if we have any damage to the chest pieces here. And what the, both of these plates are, are just basic plates. There's nothing fancy to them. There's no, um, there's no spall protection. There's no uh, trauma pads behind them. Both of these plates are just your basic baseline plates. And so anything that you add to this would be added protection. But let's get to shooting these things and see which one has the least amount of spalling or if that matters at all. So first up, we'll do our uh, ceramic plate, the level four there on the right, and see what it has for one 147 grain 308. And it looks like it did pretty well. Let's go down there and check it out. So we had a really good stop on that. Uh, there is no penetration here. I was able to feel up behind here. There's really not much of a bulge on it at all. We have no uh, Dr. Thunder or whatever leaking out from underneath this thing. All of our vitals are intact. And so for at least one shot, that ceramic plate ate it and did not uh, contribute to anything else. It looks like I actually spoke too soon on that. From that ceramic plate hit over there, a piece of spall came over here and hit uh, the abdomen slash junk 
of the guy standing next to you. So it does have the potential to make some spalling. It may not get you, but it might get your buddy. And I actually didn't shoot the, uh, the metal one first because I thought that that would happen with the metal one. But let's go ahead and shoot our steel plate and see what happens with that. If we get sort of the same result or not. That's not good. Lots of spalling you can see already. We hit it dead in the center and your, uh, your brachial arteries are definitely leaking. We're gonna see if there's anything more on the uh, abdomen slash junk area or the legs. So as you can see, this guy got pretty messed up. Now we hit in the center right here, but we are sort of shooting at an angle. So this bullet probably came in like this. If you can see that when I actually focus it on there. And so we have a pretty big hole here, a pretty big hole here. We have another little pinhole over here. And then I see at the top of this, we have a hole that we didn't have from when uh, that one threw some spalling over this way. Head is good, legs are good. Maybe I'll turn to get this off like up at the armpit. Maybe this one, if the bleeding's bad, this one looks like it would be uh, pretty significant. And now granted, these are sitting outside a little bit of the uh, of the plate carrier here but if you're carrying a weapon if you're just you know sitting like i am right now your arms are typically a little bit outside of your uh your chest area and so this is a reasonable amount of damage from taking a 308 directly to the chest plate i'm gonna get some more duct tape on here and we're gonna see which if these can hold up to multiple impacts so each one of those plates did a really good job protecting the chest but the ceramic plate did a much better job overall about absorbing that impact as you saw the duct tape on the metal one was completely blown off almost and the on the ceramic one it was just right where that hole is meaning that that, that plate absorbed most of the energy. Protect, both of them protected the chest well, so your heart, lungs, those things are going to stay intact, at least for one hit. But we got much more spalling off of the metal one, which is honestly to be expected. But let's see how they compare now if they get hit with multiple rounds. This is where the steel is supposed to have a clear advantage over the ceramic. I'll try to put them as close as I can, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And if I haven't told you guys yet, we're shooting from about 25 yards and if you like this like and subscribe so same bullets same gun try to put let's just do like another five let's try another five. Oh, that's not good that's not good at all All right, so we didn't have a whole lot of spalling, but the person behind it is absolutely dead as can be. We got both of our chest pieces uh, completely, you know, taken apart. Nothing down here. This one got some spalling. Head's still good. This is still good, but the lungs, heart, everything in there is going to be completely wrecked. I think that I put one almost right through the hole that I hit on the first time, and we have plenty of penetrations that went all the way through. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. I don't know if I want to stick my finger through here since it's hot and it's got fiberglass. And there it goes falling down, but we have holes all the way through that one. Let's go put five more into this uh, metal one, as long as it stays up after hitting it a couple times with the duct tape hold that I have on there, and see if that one is able to do any better. We'll see if we can get five in it. I bet it falls off with the, with the duct tape flying apart before we can get five, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, so it fell right off. Um, obviously, you can see that we have more spalling. Uh, I would think you could see that from here, and but the chest is still intact. Let's see if we can rig that up a little bit tighter and get more shots on it. We got that reset with some ratchet straps. We'll see if that holds it on there, but I think the other thing that that shows is how much more violent that steel plate is than that uh, ceramic one. It took us almost six shots to blow that, uh, that duct tape off of that ceramic plate. Whereas this one, it's only taken two for it to completely sever that stuff. So. Even if we have a better outcome, there's still just going to be a lot of energy imparted on the person. So let's see if we can get four more before these break as well. So our GoPro took a dump for the slow-mo, so that's really disappointing. But the results are still right here in front of us. Our chest wall is still good. This is still completely intact. There is no damage to that at all. And what I'll say is when we had this with the ratchet straps, it was pulling it even tighter 
than when we had just duct tape on it. So more of that energy was probably getting imparted in there. And you can even see, I think right here, that looks like a round little circle. That looks like a round little circle where these things had hit and then sort of uh, dented the back. Didn't dent it much, but it did dent it a little bit. So chest wall is fine. Head is still good. And I'm gonna be uh, just making an assumption here. That depends on which way that this thing is uh, canted. If it's canted up or you get hit on an, on an upward uh, inflex, deflection there, it's probably gonna get more head stuff. Abdomen and junk here is hit. Not by much, it's just got a couple little hits here in the top. And we got that one from that was came from the guy that was over here. Uh, your femoral iliac arteries, your extremities are wrecked. You're going to be in a massive world of hurt. There's going to be bleeding out. Your arms are just absolutely destroyed. Uh, it's going to be a, I mean, look at that. That is ridiculous. It's going to be a bad day. You're probably going to live if they can get bleeding under control. But overall, it's going to be a very bad day to be the mountain man. It's going to be an equally bad day to be the doctor over here. He took several right in the chest because his ceramic body armor failed after one or two hits. Maybe even two when I go back and look at the camera. But the head is okay, the legs are okay. We got this one and we did hit our other guy with it, but it, none of that matters because the rounds went straight through to the chest many times. And so uh, when if you're looking for body armor or if you know, you're just interested in this and you're having a debate, it looks like the ceramic is the clear winner if you're going to only expect to get hit one time, especially from a 308 out of a 14.5 barrel from about 21 to 25 yards. And it will do, it would seem the least amount of damage. That plate will absorb all of the energy uh, very, very well. That first shot, the only thing that happened was is his buddy got hit. Now the steel, on the other hand, it was able to take many, many hits. I mean, this thing is barely even dented. And so the idea that it can take many, many hits and still survive, that is that is a fact. A steel plate is going to last much longer than a ceramic body armor plate. The only problem is, is that spalling and it will eat you up if you plan on getting hit many, many times. Now there are things that you can add to this to make it a more, uh, a better, platforms such as anti-spalling things that you can put on the front that will absorb that uh, that spall coming off of those bullets if you intend to be hit multiple times uh, in a row or even really hit one time because even one time still tore up the arms of this target. And so I don't really think that there is a clear definitive winner. One absorbed more energy, one took more bullets. Uh, whatever one you think is going to be the best for you is probably the best or whatever side you just want to win. There's your argument for it. So guys, if you like this, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe down below. Hit that like button. I appreciate you coming out here today and shooting up these armor plates. Again, we don't get anything for free on this channel that you've seen today anyhow. Uh, so all this is paid for out of YouTube revenue. You all sharing, liking, and subscribing does quite a bit to grow this channel. I appreciate every one of you and I'll see you in the next one.